Hi, I'm James. I'm an Android developer, and today I'm going to show you this new push notifications library I found called PushBots. It makes sending notifications to your Android devices through your apps really easy. So, first of all, on the PushBots site, if you don't have an account, just go to free sign up. Otherwise, just log in. All right, I'm going to take you through a step by step tutorial. To do that, we go to the developer uh, portal, we click on Android new project and it's going to take us through some steps. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get a GCM sender ID. So to do this we open the Google APIs console page. We do create project right and under the tab that says API project we go to other projects create. We will call this pushbots. After our project is created our URL is going to change and in the URL we're going to have a string of numbers in between these two colons. So we're going to copy those and hold on to them. That's going to be our sender ID. So just hold on to that for now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the GCM API key. So back at the Google APIs console page we're going to click on services. And we're going to find Google Cloud Messaging for Android and we're going to toggle it on Now from the sidebar, we're going to go to API access, and we are going to create new server key. And we just hit create. And now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this top API key under key for server apps, and we're going to hold on to that for now. Now we're going to click on new pushbots app. So now at this step under the new PushBots app, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our dashboard and add application. So we will call our application PushBots. We'll give it a description if we like. We're going to choose Android as our platform. And we're going to add our API key that we got from Google. Then we hit add application and we're going to be given our Android application ID. So now we're going to hold on to that. Now within Eclipse we're going to create a new project in which we're going to use PushBots. So the website has step-by-step -step guides for doing this. Uh, I will just do it within Eclipse right now. So file new project Android is going to be called pushbots. And now we have a new Android application. And to use the pushbots library, what we need to do is edit our Android manifest. So let's pull up the Android manifest. All right, now what we're going to do is download the PushBots library. It comes in a convenient jar file, and all you have to do is drag and drop it into your uh, libs folder in, Andro in your Android project. So you download it, get the file, go back to your Eclipse project, go to your libraries, and paste. Now we have access to the PushBots library. The next step is to edit our manifest so we can use the PushBots library. So we're going to start by adding some permissions. The next step is to add some activities, receivers, and services in our application section. We are then going to add an intent filter in our main activity. And finally, we're going to do a find and replace of the placeholder PB package with our actual package name, which in this example is com.example.pushbots. And we can just do replace all and reset. Now, using the pushbots library itself is really nice and easy. We have a one liner to initiate it pushbots.init taking three arguments, this, the sender ID, and the application ID. So back in main activity, 
right after our on create, we can initialize the pushbots library. Don't forget to import it. All right, and now all we need to do is set these strings, sender ID and pushbots application ID. So the sender ID we got before from the Google GCM. And the Android application ID we got from the Pushbots website. So now we're going to paste that in. All right, so back at our dashboard, we see that we have one app, but no devices registered. So that's going to change because in Eclipse, we are going to run our project. I run it as an Android application, and I'm installing it right on my phone. So there's the Pushbots app, and now if we go back to our dashboard and refresh the page, success, we have one device. Now I'm going to show you how cool this is and easy to use. All you do under the app, you go to push, and you just type a message from the dashboard. So, hello from pushbots.com. Scroll down, hit push it, and we are going to see this notification light up in our app. Hello from pushbots.com. Nice. All right, and that was a basic tutorial using the Pushbots library. Uh, full documentation and API referencing is available at the Pushbots website. Thank you for watching this screencast.